Um, I, I think it's time we started talking about healing and moving forward together as a country. Really, we all accept. You've got to acknowledge that you've got to acknowledge the wounds first, haven't you? Yeah, I think we do. But also, you have to acknowledge that in 2016, you can argue the rights and the wrongs of the vote, but we were given the vote, and ultimately, democracy prevailed. You know, whether you like the result or not, democracy it, prevailed it, in Nazi Germany, mate. Uh, I'm allowed to think that oh, that was on, a du- come on. We're not in Nazi Germany. We have freedom of speech. No, no. The, have, the phrase we're... "democracy prevailed," focusing exclusively on that as an unalloyed good, is clearly not true. People voted for things that have not happened, which many of us explained would never happen, but they, in good faith and through no fault of their own, believe that they might. So how do we heal? Well, we heal by hopefully people like yourself, the media generally, accepting that um, you know, it's not perfect. I, I actually don't do that. I, I was fortunate enough to go to hustings that were run by David Cameron and Michael Gove, so I actually got to listen to both sides of the argument. And we all accept that they weren't completely truthful, and we all accept there was a degree of arrogance. No, 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 I'm sorry. I appreciate you're still sort of in, 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 in the third state of, of grief, but... No, I'm not in grief, actually. Double, I don't, I don't, double I don't the negative impact out. of the pandemic. It's not It's not going perfectly. According to the sums, the people that do the sums that the entire budget is built on, the long-term negative impact is going to be twice as bad as the worst pandemic the world has seen in living memory. So it's not, oh, some of this went well and some of it went badly. If you want to heal, mate, you've got to start telling the truth. I agree completely. I so, on a scale of you, one to ten, how badly is it going compared to how well you thought it would go when you voted for it? Uh, well, to be honest, I thought it would be like a super tanker. You turn the wheel, and it would take five to five to eight years to turn the corner to, to, to go on a new. So, course. how do you feel about it. the fact that it's sinking? I don't think it's sinking. I, so, I you're still in we, denial. I, I how can I, we heal I, if you're still in denial? I, I think you're making perceptions. Uh, no, 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 I'm going by the OBR forecast judgment. that the entire budget is built on. I've explained this at some length already today, Carl. And I listen. I, yeah. I also work in finance, so I, I, I think you have to give it an opportunity to work. Yes, they've said it's been given an opportunity to work, and the long-term negative impact will be twice as bad as COVID. I, I think. Well, I mean, the problem is only history will judge, won't it? So yes. Five years time. So you're, so you're thinking, well, don't pay too much attention to what the OBR are saying. In which case, why do we have a budget built upon the OBR? In, indeed, but equally... No, what do you mean indeed? Say, it's a question. Why do we have a budget built upon OBR forecasts if there's no point trusting OBR forecasts, Carl? Because some of the budget is smoke and mirrors, as we all oh, know. Oh, OK, right. It, it, right. It, it, right. It, but your, vote, but your vote for Brexit was clear-eyed and clever. I never said it was... I, I, I was given a choice. So, given, final, I, let's I, go back I, to the question of healing, then. Well, what does healing look like while people like you are still talking twaddle? Well... This is healing coming over the radio, isn't it? You'll say I'm talking to Audible, but I respect your view. You should respect my I view. I don't respect your view because all. it's been proved wrong. You thought Brexit but would equally, improve my country. It's making everything worse. What's to respect in that, Carl? But, but equally, I'm still being polite to you, not the other way around. But you, you, you have, have very that. little choice but to be polite. Uh, tell me what I should respect about the view that you had that Brexit would improve my country and my life. You accept that we were given. No, no. Advice. Respect. What should I respect about that view? That I that, that you should respect that I went into a booth and followed my democratic right to vote. What should I respect about your view that my life and my country would be improved? Look at the time of the vote. Well, the problem is we're going back over all ground, don't we? No, no we're, we're not. This is a brand new question. question. I've never spoken to you. Language. What should I respect about your view that my country and my life would be improved? Because I'd love to heal. So, what should I respect about that view? That, given the time and given the information we were provided, and the key was we were. No, I had the same information as you, mate, and I knew this was going to happen. So that doesn't fly. What should I respect about your view that my country and my life and my children's future would be improved by the thing you voted for? Okay. Well, first and foremost, you've obviously had the the brilliance of foresight that the rest of us. Didn't. No, mate. I just uh, I just had my eyes open. What should I respect well, about your view that this would be good for me, for my country, my future, and my children? Just give me okay. one thing I should respect about that view, Carl. As, well, as you said, we're going over old ground, aren't we? That no, no, we, we can't we... go over old ground until we've been on it once. You haven't given me one thing that I should respect, and I'm going to give you one more go. OK, one more go. You should, res- you should respect that I was given a democratic vote, and I followed That's that not your view. Vote. The view that you had, that my country would be improved, that my life would be enhanced, that the economy would be benefiting, okay. and my children's future would be better. That was your view. You want me to respect it. I'm happy to, if you give me one tiny scintilla of a reason I why I, I should. OK. My, my view at the time, in the short term, I know we'd go through some short-term pain, which we're currently doing. 
No, we're, believe... we're going through double the negative impact of COVID for the rest of our lives. So what should I respect but, about but, your view? But, but, but COVID is a separate issue to COVID. <laughs> what should I respect <laughs> about your view, Carl? Give me one thing no. that I should respect about your view that has been proved horribly and spectacularly wrong. That I was prepared to take a long-term view on the outcome of this country. Yes, so have the OBR, family, mate. Four, four percent damage to, to GDP. That's the OBR's long-term view. I'm interested in your view that you demand I respect. I want one reason why I should respect it. Uh, the, the very fact that we're on the radio having this conversation, that we can uh, listen to each other and we, we, may, we may finish this conversation. No, that's screen. got nothing to do with the view you had in 2016. So just, just give me one reason to respect it, because I would genuinely love to. I would find it helpful and healing. OK, would you like to know why I voted out? No, I want to know what it was about your view that my life would get better, my country would be improved and Brexit would be good for Britain that I should today respect. OK. That actually we have a we have our own sovereign parliament. There we go. Oh, no, you got me there. That's me done. Sovereignty. Ten thirty three.